Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons. We are, uh, this is my third lesson where I'm going to talk about uh, detecting collisions. Collisions in this case, meaning two actors, two sprites that are in contact with each other. Right now we have a car that can move around, but uh, it's a pretty empty world, nothing for it to interact with, pretty boring. Let's make up something for our car to pick up. So I'm going to make a new subclass of actor. Uh, we'll call it with this to make the car cool, something to pick up. Let's uh, pick the pizza image. And uh, if you uh, actually put it here, if you go to food, you'll see it's uh, pizza cheese. Click on food, pizza cheese. And um, I'm going to call it pizza because that's what it is. Uh, capital P because it is a class. It's a kind of thing. Uh, I now know how to add it to the world. Actually, I'll show you another way to add the world. If I click on it and I hold the shift key down, you'll see that uh, I, I have, uh, I can just drop pizzas wherever I want. So I can actually put a few pizzas down. And I'll save the world. And notice what happens. Notice we've created some new pizza objects and added them down here. I'm going to clean up my code uh, really quick. You notice that I created a couple of cars and added them and then removed them. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of all those things because I don't they, I'm not going to use them again. If I want to make more cars, I'll put them in later. But it really should only be one since that's the, um, the PC character uh, uh, sprite. I'm also going to get rid of this set location. You notice I put the car in one place and then moved it somewhere else. That's kind of uh, redundant. So I'll get rid of the set location. I'm going to put the car where I want it in the first place. Um, which in this case is uh, the middle of the screen, which is 300, which is half of 600, and 200, which is half of 400 in the uh, Y direction. And uh, so now I have my car and my pizzas. So what happens if my car touches the pizza now, which is you'll see nothing at all. Uh, the, these, are, these things are running completely their separate code. The pizza has its own act method, which has nothing in it. It doesn't do anything. It just sits there, and the car does its thing. And, uh, because um, they're, they're separate classes and uh, they're separate objects. And uh, separate objects, when you create them in Java, don't really, they'll just do their own thing and not have anything to do with each other unless, uh, unless you tell them to. And so we have to tell the car to know that it's uh, touching a pizza. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the, the simple, the easiest way to do it. So I'll go in here. Um, the easiest way to do it, if I hit control space, there's one that's if you hit R, there's remove touching. So this just says, this just says, uh, remove a uh, object that you're touching and it says CLS. Well, what class of object am I looking for? Well, I'm, I'm looking for pizza and then I'll do class and I'm removing uh, object of type pizza, right? And I'll compile it. And uh, now when I run, see this now, get a pizza and I remove them from the screen. This isn't the best way to do it, and I'm going to show you a better way to do it pretty soon because uh, the problem with this method is that uh, I can't make anything else happen. Like I, if I want my score to go up or anything like that, I can't put that in the remove touching. Uh, it's I, it's because it's, it's just going to remove the, the object when it's touching it. Uh, I can't uh, make anything else interesting happen when I collide. But um, I do want to under, but, but and I'll show you that in a future lesson. Um, right now, what I want to show you though is is what I mean when I say collision to be precise. Right, each of these is uh, each of these sprites has a uh, each of these sprites has a, a rectangle. It's, it's a rectangle shape, right? Um, you might notice if I uh, act here, you notice that the car wasn't really touching the pizza, but it still went away, right? That's because uh, they're rectangles overlap. That's what collision really means in a, a video game. Um, there's fancier ways you can do it where it actually looks at the pixel, pixels and sees if the visible pixels overlap. But, um, but, but this is a, a simple case of collision detection, which is just to see that these objects exist and we're uh, removing them when we touch them. Um, again, the, 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 there's better ways, and I'm going to show you in the future what those are. Um, I'll see you in a future, future lesson.